Hey, what's up, guys? All right, so this video is going to be about the Vivid Commercial Graphics. This is called Indestructible Vinyl Wrap. It feels, it's a, uh, you see, it's about 10, 10 millimeters thicker than that normal vinyl. Um, I bought 25 feet of it, so uh, hopefully it's enough because we did a test run. So I just started peeling it off, but yeah, essentially what it is, it's just, it's a big sticker, a big vinyl sticker that can come on and off. The main difference between this and vinyl is it's not as pliable. So even with a heat gun, you still got your work cut out for you. I just put it on the truck to see how it would hold up throughout the week. We didn't do the best job. You can see that was cut shy. It was me and my friend. Uh, my friend did this part. He said he had a steady hand and we were about a quarter inch shy over it. But um, overall, it came out pretty clean. There's just some of this happening. So I think we're going to have to use like spray adhesive. Or at least the car wrap guy is going to have to use spray adhesive. But this is going to happen pretty much. Uh, so we cleaned the surface area good. But since this is so thick wherever there's curves it doesn't really want to stay so i'm thinking a little bit of spray adhesive would solve that um the mild grade nothing too aggressive so it doesn't ruin your clear coat or underneath but um overall overall i'm pretty happy with it so now i'm gonna have my graphics guy the guy that usually wraps our trucks with the design he's gonna go ahead and install uh, this side and that side with the remaining 25 feet uh, in hindsight, I wish I maybe would have sampled it on the tailgate. That way, we would guarantee have enough for both sides. But um, I'm going to tell him to recycle this. I'm going to pull it off for him. I'm going to try to salvage, roll it. And then um, for the tailgate, since there's so much creases and everything, I think we're probably just going to end it here or maybe even up here. Just right across to protect from scratching. But the main reason this... I even thought of installing this on a brand new truck. It's just to protect the sidewalls when we load and unload. And it's not like a huge investment, but it will protect the, the paint. And yeah, like I said, it just comes off like a big sticker. So you can see there's some air release pockets in there. But overall, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the product. Uh, just wish it took shape a little better. That way you could wrap. Like, there was no way of wrapping this without some spray adhesive, so I just cut that out. But, um, yeah, it looks pretty clean. Once it's done, it doesn't look too bad. Matches with the black. And, um, supposedly it lasts about two years. That's the warranty they give you. I'm pretty sure it's so thick that it'll last more. So, in about two years, I'll pull a little bit back, see how it's holding up. If it doesn't seem like it's falling apart, then I'll probably just leave it on longer. Because I normally keep the trucks before training them in about four years. It'd be good if this could handle the four years. That way when I take it off, take it back to get it trade in. We don't have any like crazy damage over here. Since black is so noticeable. Uh, but yeah, we ceramic coated the rest. And uh, it's been raining, so it's held up pretty good. But yeah, that's the update. Uh, insulation wise, it goes on pretty much like regular vinyl. Uh, the only difference is when you heat it up, it doesn't really mold too much. It all, you know, since it's so thick. Look at that, even if I tried to rip it and I'm pulling like really strong, nothing's happening. So that's the plus side of this, that it's so, so thick and durable. But yeah, today, quick video, just an update on the truck rack. If uh, you're interested in this, uh, I would I would put it knowing that you're not going to be able to do any tight turns. This one went in clean because this lifted up, so that looked clean. But down here, we, we, we didn't take this off. We just tried cutting it, and then you run into stuff like that. So keep that in mind. For the cleanest install, you're going to want to remove the lights and then... Yeah, overall it was pretty sick.
Hey guys, hello. Hey, hey, how's it guys? So, I uh, just got the truck back. Uh, I'm gonna do the decal next week. Uh, but they just did this yesterday. Came out super clean. They did a way better job than I did. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, so I'm super happy with it. This is gonna, the only thing I wish they would have gone under, kind of like how I did, because this can get wedged in. They just cut a sharp line there, so hopefully it doesn't start to peel back over time, but it came out clean. So this is just to help prevent scratching, just since this is going to be the, the most heavily used part of the truck. And everything else, uh, we're going to try to keep it nice and clean. But yeah, super happy with how it looks. It's going to look pretty sick with the blacked out graphics we do. Bye right, guys, hello.